expertise. This is a lack. Ah, my dear friend Bill, I see you have brought a device with you today. What purpose does it serve? Greetings, Socrates. This is a laptop, a marvel of modern technology. It harbors an artificial intelligence that can revolutionize heuristic education. Interesting. Imagine a world where students learn at their own pace, guided by a tireless tutor that never errs. Is this the MacBook you often refer to? No, no, no. This is a Surface. You just need to remember that Surface. Fascinating. But tell me, what is the essence of this artificial intelligence you speak of? It is a machine that can learn and reason built wow. upon vast amounts of data and complex algorithms. It imitates human thought processes to provide tailored learning experiences. I sense a shadow over this marvel, a hidden danger lurking within. Uh huh. Dear Bill, as you know, I am a proponent of self-examination and seeking wisdom. That's true. Tell me, what might we gain from this new form of intelligence you have created? Oh, you don't know how much Microsoft has been in the limelight recently. If those big companies don't come out and talk about AI, I don't know how much the stock prices will fall. To be serious, Socrates, artificial intelligence has the potential to revolutionize heuristic education. We can utilize AI to personalize learning, allowing each individual to explore and discover knowledge really? in a manner tailored to their own interests and abilities. As the great philosopher Plato once said, the measure of a man is what he does with power. I agree. But, Catesius, do we not risk becoming over-reliant on this AI, losing our own ability to think critically and independently? Uh -huh. Does not the essence of heuristic learning lie in the struggle to find solutions, much like how a moth must break free from its cocoon to strengthen its wings? Will AI not rob students of this essential struggle? Any technology will have potential risks and limitations. You know, in my time, there was a guy who sold phones, but he rarely let his own children use them, which shows that everything has two sides. Sure. But AI can be designed to strike a balance. It need not provide immediate answers, but rather act as a mentor, gently uh -huh. nudging students in the right direction while allowing them to discover solutions on their own. At the same time, AI handles the mundane tasks, giving teachers more time to engage with students on a deeper level. But is it not through wrestling with these mundane tasks that the soul is strengthened and wisdom forged? Can a tree grow strong if it is not buffeted by the winds of adversity? Technology can be a tool, but does it not also serve as a crutch? I fear that reliance on AI will cause humans to become complacent and thus cease to engage in the very heuristic thinking you claim it enhances. A ship's captain, for instance, must learn to navigate the seas on his own, for he cannot rely solely on his compass. Just like a Windows user has to learn how to fix the blue screen issue on their own, they can't always rely on calling you, right? Sharp question, Socrates. I think we should rather consider artificial intelligence as a magnifying glass. When used wisely, it can help us see things more clearly and in turn make more informed decisions. It is up to us to ensure we use AI responsibly without losing sight of our own intellectual capabilities. Bill, I am reminded of the allegory of the cave. Yep. I likened the pursuit of knowledge to a prisoner escaping a cave and discovering the world outside which is illuminated by the sun, representing the it's truth. It's a good story. I'm not sure if AI is the leader who will guide us out of the cave of ignorance. I still have many doubts about AI. Interesting metaphor, Socrates. The leader is now busy looking for a 100 everywhere. What's that? Just as the prisoner in your allegory must adapt to the light outside the cave, we must learn to adapt to AI and integrate it into our heuristic thinking. I agree. This will be a major innovation in traditional education. Bill and Socrates will continue to discuss the issues of AI in education, especially on how to introduce AI to children at a young age.